Welcome, welcome back to my channel y'all and i'm so excited to have you guys here today is november 17th one more day until my birthday y'all i'm so excited i'm gonna be 20 years old if you don't know that already not really much of a birthday prep that's why i'm not doing that video sadly because girl i'm already ready i'm always already ready stay ready <laughs> so i have my nails done i just got my nails done yesterday my toes done right now i got this cute ass set from sheen y'all sheen baby so cute been in sacramento lately so i've kind of been used to doing things by myself and going to malls by myself just meeting people with myself doing everything by myself y'all because we're trying to be an independent queen you feel me oh and did i tell you that i'm in the process of moving out i have to move out today and i have not even started so my dad's gonna come over way later i have to do all my damn laundry you feel me i have to throw everything out i have to take my clothes i have to you know, I just have to pack. No idea where I'm moving. You guys are probably like, Mel, where are you going? Babe, I don't know. You're, I'm just going to post a vlog one day and be like, I moved. And you guys are going to see that I moved. See, normally, I would have this type of stuff prepped out. But I've been gone all month doing orders, just traveling. So I have no idea what I'm doing. And that is terrible, babe. But I just bought a car. So I have to either fly to Montana or my mom and I are going to meet in Vegas. And we'll do a little Vegas trip for my birthday after my birthday you know since we can't see each other then yeah i just i just realized i just said i bought a car and anything more about it so i bought my car it's a blue dodge challenger we back in the challenger baby you know? this is my first apartment by myself it's small it's whatever it's cute it was big enough for me it did everything i needed i appreciate it i'm so grateful that i got into it i can't wait to go into my next apartment but taking all this stuff down right now is very like heart-wrenching it feels like i'm losing everything but i know i'm gonna move into something bigger and better and i'm gonna have a better journey so cheers to that y'all <laughs> so this is my manifestation journal as you can see it is literally like a school like it's like my witch book I made it like this like it's literally all me babe like it's personalized pictures that i have right here because they're my manifestation pictures i'm gonna put them on one of these pages you know as i get through it and then once i'm done i'm gonna write about each picture and write my lifestyle into it if that makes sense because these are things that i really want and i don't want to lose that so Y'all, this activity was so fun. Like, girl, if you're lazy, get your ass up and go print some pictures and start writing in a notebook. I literally felt like I was writing my own fairy tale. Like, look, it's me, bitch. Anyways, let's open it up. Right here, I have the pictures of myself. I'm kind of just acting like I took these, like I'm living these, taking little side notes, writing appreciation, just writing our life, basically. Y'all, I'm editing this right now, and I'm laughing because I was trying to be independent to show you guys, like, yeah, bitch, you can do it yourself. No, you can't. I got a splinter. I needed help. I was in shock. I didn't know what to do. I was shaking. <laughs> I was walking around my room. I needed help, y'all. Okay, but don't think that stopped me, bitch, because I was like, period. I'm going to get this shit out. I'm going to go smoke a blunt with my dad. I'm going to go talk with him. I'm going to enjoy the last moment in my house. I'm going to put good energy into this. We just chit chat you know sparked it was calm it's cool love yours no such thing no such thing as a life that's better than yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours no such thing no such thing heart beating fast let a nigga know that he alive I had a lot of people do testers on me like someone straightened my hair someone was trying to do makeup like I still have the sample she was trying to put this color on my face I was like girl fuck no got these I got in and out and look they have the cute little Christmas bags I didn't know <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
yeah, 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 Biggie man, we do the way I got that. Ah, 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 Make you say anything. I'm getting my car right now. Let me show y'all. I can't go back to my car. 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 So I got a little broom, you know, we got that. So I'm happy as fuck, y'all. This is my car. I'm back in this. I'm so thankful. Oh, gosh. How do you do this? Oh, My beautiful humans i'm back in my madre's house i love her apartment the most like i love 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 her apartment but i'm in great falls right now i came here to decorate the tree and everything i also bought my car while i was here i saw my mom i saw my best friend i hung out with her you know i've been really trying to surround myself with just love positive people people who genuinely care about me people who want to see me do good like no negativity and no energy that isn't certain about me is coming into my circle like i don't want you doubting me i don't want you not respecting me with grace come with everything but anyways i cut my hair last night so i have like these look can you see that i cut my hair to right here last night these are the little clip-in extensions i haven't done the bundle pack for a long time y'all so if you have short little what is it called short hair right here and you need and you want long hair babe just go get you some clip bins i got these at the beauty supply for 150 and i met some shorty there she was helping me out like thanks you babe for getting me right but anyways this morning my mom and i are going to drive to vegas so we're driving to vegas that's 20 hours right so we're going to do that we're going to drive to vegas 
borderline for her Christmas party. So I have a cute little dress and everything. If you see my outfit, I've been traveling, like traveling, traveling, traveling. I haven't been able to go home. So yesterday I went to Walmart and I bought me a set like this. <laughs> so I'm wearing this. And then let me show you my Walmart outfit that I'm about to wear right now. Uh, I feel like social media nowadays makes people feel like feel like you cannot go into any store but Prada. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to tell you that it's okay to be you and we're all 20 and young or maybe a little bit older. And it's okay to struggle and it's okay if you can't buy shit that's up to here or whatever. Like, babe, it does not matter. And even if you can buy it and you choose to go to discount it, it's just as okay. Like, I feel like no one does that anymore. Everything's just like, how much is it? Bitch, it don't matter how much. How much? How about how cheap was that? You feel me? That's what I remember asking. But anyways, I got this little jacket for literally eleven dollars at Walmart the other day. So it's like one of these tight coats, and then I have these tight leggings. I don't know where I got these, but they're nice leggings. They're tight like this. So I'm gonna wear these. My cute little jacket. I bought this sports bra from Walmart as well last night. But I'm like, hey, this bra is cute. It looks like those fake little Nike ones. So period so i'm gonna wear this sports bra that coat just a little comfy little vibes i was gonna wear something like this but my mom wants to be able to get out we're gonna go to the grand canyon and we're gonna see that so that's gonna be beautiful i'm also in the process of looking for my apartment and today is december 1st i haven't posted since i don't know when you guys are probably gonna see a bunch of vlogs from <laughs> october november everything like that so I'm gonna try on these clothes right now and I'll show you guys what my outfit looks like, but then I'll see you. We just made our first stop. I'm eating corn dogs right now. We still have literally, I think, 11 hours, y'all. So we have 11 hours, but I'll meet y'all when I'm in Vegas. <laughs> Y'all, we're at McDonald's right now. We still have three hours. We drove how long? 24 or 20 hours? How long did no, we drive? No, it'll be all in all. I think that'll be like 15. Yeah, we drove 15 hours today and we have three more to go. No. I turned to an addict. I brought me a paddock. I brought her a baby one. Yeah, I brought me a baby that came with two doors. Yeah, that's the Mercedes for sure. I stay with the baddest. I'm counting the cabbage while making my lady call. Yeah. I brought a G wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for war. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for war. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for war. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for war. I got static in my city, who fucking with me? Pull up with this 30 and this chopper, hold a 50. And I heard that nigga oh make it. God. That's the rest of the way. Fuck, 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 Oh, what? Outside. Y'all were outside for real. <laughs> Y'all so we're in Vegas. <laughs> I kicked her right out of the front door. I'm picky, picky, yeah. And every time she click on my phone, I'm busy, busy, yeah. Hello. I heard it's some niggas that's on my head. I heard it's some niggas that's on my brain. Y'all, this looks like we are at where the hookers stay. <laughs> if I post this hotel, they think gonna think I'm doing something. Y'all, I have a fear of looking into mirrors that are at other places because I'm scared spirits are gonna come to me. Cause that's real. But look how cute. Okay, let's go this way. Oh gosh, looks like some movies may have been made. In here. This place is big. No, yeah. So. <laughs> we might get haunted in here. I'm scared. <laughs> Y'all, this is where we are staying. You can see now because you probably won't see this for a few months, but this is where we're at. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, we just got back from shopping. So now we have to wear the clothes that we bought today. And we're going to get ready and go to this Christmas party. It's like 5 o'clock. Wait, what time is it? No, what time is it right now? Yeah, right now it's 5. Yeah, right now it's like 5 o'clock. So we have like an hour or so to get ready. We just got our nails done and everything. I got a fill. My mom got her toes done. 
So I'm gonna get ready right now and bring you guys along with me. We only went into three stores. We were trying to get in and out, but in H and M, this is what I found. I found this dress very last minute. I'm glad I did. I can wear it with probably anything and to go anywhere. I don't ever have white. You know, when you get invited to an all white party or all white occasion or something like that. So I got this. I don't know if you can really tell, but it'll be cute because I'm going to scrunch it up like a little bit shorter and everything. But it's still classy, fun, and flirty, so I like it. I'm trying to like change my style to still be like classier, but still like wear everything that I normally would wear to the day to day and feel comfortable in. And still be able to dress up, feel good, and not feel like I'm doing too much or not doing enough. Pants, these look so good because they have a tight band and it's funny, my mom found most of my clothes, literally. But they have this tight elastic band so they actually stay on and they're flared at the bottom so they look so good. And then I got this top. This is what I'm wearing tonight because like I said, I'm trying to still wear what I want but be like classier. So I got this top like this. It looks so cute. It's a corset back and everything and I'm going to wear this with my black pants. These cute khaki pants. These are so cute. My mom saw these. Love, love them. I'm going to take pictures of these with this top. This top was $2, y'all. Like, don't hit, don't miss on H&M. But I'm going to wear this together. And then I got these pants as well. And this is a corset top. You guys are probably like, ew, it looks ugly. But when it's on and when it's on my fit, it actually looks very cute and classy. So I'm going to wear this tomorrow when we go to breakfast in the morning because my mom decides to go. And then the last thing I got, I need to find bottoms for this, but this is literally $9 and it's cute. Because I know a lazy person watching this will even be too lazy to watch this video. So lazy person, hi guys, my name is Liz, I'm Bob. I'm fucking with you, don't know how to love me. But I'm dealing with you, so I, it seemed like I get so much and don't get nothing back. I really thought it was love, but just Y'all, yeah, my mom and I are on the way to the Christmas party. If you can't tell, we're looking for the hoochie thing. No, we're not. <laughs> Took as many edibles as I possibly could because <laughs> she's not gonna let me smoke in the car since we're going to this Christmas party, but they'll know I'm cooked. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we're packing up our hotel and everything because we're about to leave. We're going to put everything in our car. Then my mom and I are going to go downstairs. We found this cute little breakfast place yesterday when we were walking around in the casino and everything. So we're going to go there, have breakfast by that time. We'll see how much we have left. Then my mom has to head out. Then I have to drive all the way back to Phoenix. But I get to see my animals. I get to see my dad. So I get to reunite with everybody. Y'all, we're leaving our little hotel this morning. This is our view, but we're leaving. <laughs> Was Vegas worth it? It was great. As <laughs> long as you choose it, now it's for me. I ain't got it. I've been skinning, do it. I ain't your body. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. But the truth, I look better under you. I can't lose when I'm with you. How can I lose and miss the moment? Oh, you just too important. Nobody's a fighting like.
So I'm at the dispo right now waiting for my mother, but we just got done with breakfast and everything and it was so good So so good. I've loved Vegas so far Like I came here originally to think like is this somewhere I want to come back to do I want to live here? Do I want to have an apartment here and the answer is no <laughs> Y'all I think it's safe to say that we enjoyed our stay. I came down here to see if I would want to live here or anything But I do not She's coming right now, but I just feel so happy that I get to be with family and get around. Like, it really matters who you're around. Truly. Truly, truly, truly. Well, my mom and I have to spend Christmas together right now. So she said she just bought another Christmas present. So we shall see what is in here. <laughs> well, we got this and we got this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Love yours.